Hi folks. So this is Electric Avenue. Yeah, so that's the, this is the avenue that Eddie Grant sang about. Do people remember Eddie Grant and that song? We're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. Yeah, so... No, oh, hey up. Ooh, ambulance. Yeah, so this is the uh, song that was in what? Uh, the street, sorry. This is the street that was immortalised by Eddie Grant. Like I said, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue and then we'll take it higher. <laughs> so, yeah, Electric Avenue. They've just recently done all this uh, pavement, by the way. Because, um, like, you know, you get your mar you got market in here uh, every day of the week, apart from uh, Sunday, I think. And Wednesday, it's usually a bit quieter anyway. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, usually it's full of, uh, what's say what? Yeah, it's usually, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, I don't know what's the matter with me right now. Um, yeah, I was trying to explain something to you and I'm just completely and utterly distracted at the minute. And it's not necessarily just about the noise and the people around me. I don't know what it is. I just feel a little distracted for some reason. But anyway, yeah, so like I said, they've put this new floor in. See, look, they're, they're finishing off that bit there, look. See how they got that bit fenced off because they're doing the same there. Um, but yeah, they have market stalls along here all day. Uh, most days of the week. Uh, Wednesday's usually a bit quieter, but... Yeah, so... This is usually the outdoor market bit. Look. Look. You see? So they're putting a new pavement thing in. So... But it's funny because like you look at that right and I know it's a uh, what's it because like you've got all these market stalls and all traders and stuff and it's all different sort of like you know like meats and fish and all sorts of different things anyway uh, and that's in them like shop places there like that, where it says the halal meat things and all that but anyway you get all that so you're bound to get a bit of rubbish and a bit of flipping mess and all the rest of it but it's surprising how quickly it's already looks you know, really messy and anyway, that's just me being being pedantic um, because um, I think I've got a bit of OCD about me anyway. <laughs> I'm almost certain I have. Um, got to think about things being clean and new. I don't know. I swear it's a bit of a thing with me. Um, I think it comes from my time of being homeless for so long. Look at that. I was just wondering what that was. It's like some sort of electric uh, thing, but it's brand spanking new because it's still got the plastic on it. It's like, wow, they've put this, and look, it says danger, high voltage thing, you know what I mean? It's like, wow. Yeah, okay, whatever. Sorry, I was, thought it says another one over there, but it's an old one, or oldish. Do you know what I mean? Um, wow. It's like, you know, why, I mean, normally these things are locked up, but what, so, unless that's not used anymore. I don't know. I don't know. There must be a reason for it. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going, guys. By the way, uh, I'm just wandering. I just, I've got. It's, I'm in a funny. I'm in a funny space right now, to be quite honest. Um, I'll tell you what it's like. I'll tell you what it's for me. It's a bit like I've experienced this many times before. Essentially, I'll tell you what it is. Um, I'm feeling preoccupied and I've got something stuff's worrying me uh, and what I'll sometimes do what sometimes happens is when I get that worried when I get that um, bothered about things that I get to a point where I'm so oversaturated with worry and fear and anxiety that eventually I become numb to it it's like I become sort of like uh, I won't say anaesthetized is the right way of describing it but definitely um, I become 
very uh, uh, cut off from it, I guess. Disassociated, that'll be it. I disassociate from how I'm feeling. And so I go into this like weird sort of spaced out feeling. Almost like, you know like when you do a, if you, if you've ever partaked of the old bit of weed or, you know, when you've got drunk, you've had too much to drink or whatever, and you know, you detach from reality to some degree. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I feel detached uh, a little bit from reality. Uh, and so I'm kind of a little bit not kind of spaced out in some way because I kind of like don't know what to do with myself and I'm sort of like do I go this way do I go that way and I'm kind of like really really unsure of myself um, uh, but I know that I don't want to go in yet I don't want to go home yet uh, and I don't always get but I do get like this at times and the thing is right that sometimes I'll go for a wonder and sometimes I'll go for a miles tonight it's kind of like I was just sticking around Brixton but I've still got this wanderlust, you know, I call it the wanderlust, where I get itchy feet and it's kind of like, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I don't know, I want to I wanna just go traipsing somewhere and I don't care where I go or how far I go, uh, well, obviously, um, you know, depending on, uh, uh, m you know, financial situation, because, like, sometimes that'll matter and sometimes it won't, because sometimes I'll just walk somewhere and I'll walk, and I mean, literally, I'll walk for miles. Uh, you ask Joanne what I'm like for walking, uh, but these days, because of my age, because I've got I'm a bit overweight, and you know, with the smoking and all the rest of it, I'm kind of like, mm, not sure if I really want to go traipsing like miles and miles and miles, especially on foot. Um, but I've definitely got the wanderlust at the moment. I have definitely got the wanderlust. Um, it's kind of like, you know, like I say, I just feel. I can't, I can't feel like I can settle right now. I feel really, I feel all over the place. Six and sevens and everything, do you know what I mean? So, just not sure what to do with myself right now. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, well actually, I keep saying that, I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. Um, I just don't know what to do, to be quite honest with you. Um, but you see that by the way I've always loved that I think that's so cool and sometimes some people think it's real you see right let me zoom in on that there right right look at that but you see that there looks like there's someone standing there doesn't it but it's not because that is a bronze statue of a dude standing at the platform but it looks really good doesn't it because from a distance or just at a glance, and especially if you wasn't aware of it, you would swear that was somebody standing there, wouldn't you? You would. You know, you think there's oh, somebody standing at the platform, like waiting. Yeah. Right. Uh, I just don't know what to do with myself. I really don't. I think, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just can't make my goddamn mind up right now. I feel like... Brixton Arches... Right. Uh... Okay guys. Um... I don't know what to do walked around most of the places I would walk around normally anyway. Feels like I'm just vlogging for the sake of vlogging, but then again, sometimes, isn't that the best vlogs of all? You know, when you're just vlogging for no apparent reason and then whatever? You know, some, sometimes something interesting occurs or you say something interesting or something, you know, uh, whatever. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Um, uh, I guess we'll go this way. I don't know what to do with myself right now. I just feel so... You know, there's a saying or an expression that we use sometimes. Uh, I don't know if it's particularly Northern saying or whether it's an English saying or what, but uh, I, you may have heard this expression, you may have not, but I feel all six and sevens right now. 
uh, does that make any sense? It's like, I just don't know whether I'm coming or going. I just kind of feel all, kind of, I just don't know. I can't, I know, I'm not making much sense, I know. I know I'm not, believe me, I know I'm not making any sense because I can't make sense of myself. Never mind. Never mind you guys trying to make sense of me. Do you know what I mean? Goodbye, nightclub. Leave you, see you later. Smell you later. <laughs> That, that hole in the wall, man. Whee! Uh, sorry, guys. I know this is probably thinking, what the heck's going on with Paul? Uh, I'm just so I feel tired, exhausted, but I can't switch off. You know, I just cannot switch off. Right. Um, I'm trying to think where to go. Um, we've already been down, what's them? Um, shall we head back home? Eh, yeah, let's head back home I think. So, yeah, I think we'll head back home. Okay. Sorry? What, what? Who's taking the piss on your video? Because I'm a YouTuber and I'm doing the vlog. Fuck off! You and your YouTube, fuck off! Don't take people's picture, man! I'm not taking your picture, I'm just walking down the street, man! Chill, man, chill. Wow. Anyway, so yeah, let's head home. Might as well. So, yeah, I don't know. Eee, dear. I think he's had one too many. Or maybe, yeah, I think I know what's going on there, actually. And that's none of my goddamn business at the end of the day. Uh, I'm not interested. So, yeah, anyway, <sighs> I don't know. All right, okay, I think, like I said, I'm gonna head home. Um, I think I know what he was worried about. I won't mention it now, I'll leave it for the time being. Uh, right. Okay, so I guess that concludes our little tour. Uh, and <laughs> oh dear, do you know it's funny as well, right? Um, always makes me uh, well, not makes me laugh, but because I've got big loud shirts and all, but you know, considering I come from England, you see, if you was in like somewhere in America, or if you lived in Hawaii, or you lived in flipping Miami or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not, again, it's not necessarily a criticism, it just always makes me think, like, you know, really? You know, really? You know, you're in the middle of Brixton, and it's not exactly the Bahamas or anything, and yet you've got people wearing these big Hawaiian shirt type things. And don't get me wrong, like I said, I'm not saying they shouldn't, because I quite like bright colours. Like I said, I'm an artist at the end of the day, I like bright colours, I love bright colours. But... I just think sometimes it just makes me wonder sometimes, you know, oh, I don't know what the heck I'm trying to say to be part of this. I really don't. Like I said, please forgive forgive me for this last couple of vlogs that you're gonna see. Because I just I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I really don't. I feel completely and utterly lost at the minute. Um I'm just wandering around. Uh not knowing what the heck I'm doing. Well, not fully anyway, if you see what I mean. Uh, you see this, by the way, no? You see, I was, bit, I was a bit curious when he walked past us earlier on. He probably, I don't know if I was filming at the time when he did. You see this ironing board, right? Obviously, it's lacking its cover. It was brand, brand spanking new, though, right? But there's a dude with a beard. I think he was wearing shorts as well, but I can't remember. But there's a dude in the beard. Uh, and a couple of his mates or whatever and he had this tucked under his arm and he's walking down the road with it and I'm thinking to myself why has he got that ironing board? <laughs> do you know what I mean? what's he doing with that ironing board? Uh, and I'm thinking like there's no way he's just been to the shop to buy it do you know what I mean? because like obviously all the shops are shut apart from all the boozers and stuff right? so I'm thinking to myself you know there must be a reason why he's got this ironing board like you know what I mean? and I think it was just because he was absolutely out of his head stone drunk or whatever 
right? And do you know, like you do, you do random shit when you're when you're drunk, don't you? You do, you do random stuff when you've had a few. Do you know what I mean? Like pick up a pine cone. Pine cone. Oh, I'm very red wolf. What have you done to me? Look, I'm calling it a pine cone. No, it's a. Uh, <laughs> what is it? A traffic cone, even. Oh man, I'm calling it a pine cone now. Um, so you know what I mean? You, you pick up a pack. Nearly did it again. Alright, I'm going to call it a pine cone. You pick up a pine... No. You pick up a traffic cone. Or you pick up a sign off the... You know, like, uh, what's the name? Road sign or something like that. Do you know what I mean? You just do this random stuff, don't you, when you're drunk. And, um... So I guess that's why he had the ironing board, do you know what I mean? But I must admit, I was thinking, like, as he's walking down the road and he's like... Oh, man, it was just funny. I wish I had filmed it now. You, you would see what I mean, actually. I think that's the most I've spoken all night, isn't it? I mean, wow, flipping heck. Do you know what I mean? Right, this is the junction of my road. Look, there's the Atlantic. That's what it used to be called, actually, until it became the Dog Star. Do you know, maybe it's changing its name back to the Atlantic. You know, it well could be, but I don't know that for certain, to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, that's what it used to be called, the Atlantic. Because, of course, you see, this here is Atlantic Road up that way. And this, no, hang on, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, that's still Atlantic Road there. But that's Atlantic Road there as well, of course. We've got, so we've got Atlantic Road there. Uh, and this used to be the Atlantic Pub. Uh, and it's just been, they're doing it all up outside. I don't know if they're doing it up inside. No idea. Uh, I've not been in there for a good couple of years anyway. Uh, it's been a while since I was in there. Um, and like I say, John, the day, it's just a normal boozer. There isn't all this um, security thing and a big massive queue like it's some sort of nightclub thing or something. Do you know what I mean? Uh, John, the day, it's just your regular everyday pub. Uh, I've been in it a few times. Um, and even, even during the week time, it doesn't necessarily... It's more about weekends, I think, more than anything. Um, but, uh, right, OK, let's get, let's get across now whilst we're... Well, it's clear. Yeah, so like I say that's Atlantic Road as well, but then it changes to Railton Road uh, just after the zebra crossing, more or less. Uh, that's a new shop there as well, by the way. That's pretty cool. I love the. Uh, it, looks, it looks really cool, actually. It's like a really cool shop. I love the way they've done it. So, right. I think I've definitely had enough of Brixton nightlife for now. Uh, I think I need to head home. Uh, not particularly tired, and I don't particularly want. And anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload these anyway, so it's gonna take a little while. So, right, okay. So I'll, uh, I guess I'm gonna leave the vlog here, uh, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.